and welcome back guys so today we're gonna to have a quick game of uh, nightlife solitaire it's a free print and play ish game that uh, you can get for free at the PMP arcade and uh, the whole uh, game is uh, basically these five cards that you have to print have to no, not really. You don't really have to print them. Uh, you can play the game without any kind of printing. Um, so after you print the five cards, if you choose to do so, uh, you will also need one deck of standard cards. And um, that's all you need. So how does it play? You draw, every turn you draw one card from the deck and uh, play it in on one of these spots marked by the cards. And uh, you will play five cards every uh, in a row, five turns in a row, to fill out one row, and then you begin the next row, and next row, and next row. And uh, you play ten rows, and you calculate your score if you survive. Uh, the cards here, you have the two casino cards, the dealer and your card. Um, so whoever has the highest card uh, wins. So if you win, you get a point. If you lose, your card gets flipped face down. Uh, vampire, if you play a hard card on that column, the card gets flipped down. The Diamond Club, um, if you play a diamond, you get a point. If you don't, it gets flipped face down. And the Streets, if this is the highest card, if it's higher than every other card in that row, all of the cards get flipped face down. So if you get five cards flip down, face down, you lose the game and you're dead. And if you survive all ten turns, you calculate your score. So one, as we said, one for every card that's higher than the dealers and one for every diamond in this row. And so the perfect score is 20 points. Alright, the cards are shuffled properly. Um, let's begin the game. So, basically what I figured uh, these two will get your card flipped face down and you'll lose a point. This one will get a card flipped face down and you'll lose a point. This one will get all of the cards in the row flipped face down. This one just flips the card face down, nothing else. So I want to focus on the vampire the least and more on the other ones. And of course I'm trying to win and get the perfect score, so let's begin. So first one is the heart, so it's a pretty high card, so I want to put it in my column. Diamond, we definitely want to put in the diamond club. This is a low card, um, but let's put it in the streets, just to make sure we don't flip all the cards. Um, okay, now um, we definitely don't want to put it in the dealer, so we'll put it here. And of course the dealer card is higher than ours. Okay. So one card flip face down. We have four left before we lose. Next row, diamond definitely goes in the diamond club. This is high, so we want to keep that. This is low, we'll put it in the streets. This is also low. Ace is high, but it's not a heart, so not doesn't matter. Okay, so right now we have three points. We're not getting the perfect game as it stands right now. Okay, and here we go. Next, um, we have a 10. That's high. Let's put it here. Three is low in the streets. Diamond goes here. Um, two is low. And this is good. Okay, so that's good. Let's keep going. Diamond goes in the diamond. Six is mm, low-ish. Let's put it in the streets. This is high. Uh, this is lower than ace. Okay, yeah, we can put it in the vampire because it doesn't matter what this is. Okay, that's good. Haven't lost anything. Diamond goes here. Uh, this is low, let's put it here, this is on the higher side, this is lower than that, and this is not a heart, perfect. 
Okay, so far so good. We're halfway through. Let's, uh, you're supposed to look at the car so you know what's coming up, but just to preserve space, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move him up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, next round. Two is super low. Let's put in the dealer first. This is diamond, definitely want that. Eight is on the higher side. That's good enough for us. Ten. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, that depends on if the next card is higher than ten. I see a lot of kings and queens and aces. So most likely next card is lower. And it has to be lower or we'll uh, flip all the cards face down. So let's put this in the vampire. That's going to be a first flip card in the vampire. And it's the same. So as long as it's the same, we don't have to flip it. I double checked on that. <laughs> All right, next is um, eight diamond. Four is low. Let's get rid of the streets. We don't want to be in this situation again. So let's get rid of that first. This is on the higher side. Uh, this will lose us a point and flip a card. So let's just flip it. And this is the same. So as long as it's the same, it's good. Um, so it's funny enough that the rules say uh, you don't get a point if they are equal, but you don't flip it either. But the card right here says if your card is equal to or higher, you gain one point. So we still get a point according to the card. But according to the rule book, we don't. But the cards speak for themselves, as they say. Um, eight. Okay. Eight. Let's let's put it in the streets. I, I'm pretty sure we'll get a higher card. There it is, diamond. This is low. This is equal. That's good enough. Oh, this is another heart. Okay. Um, four cards face down already. So if we get another, we lost the game, which is not good. We still have two turns. Diamonds are the biggest problem. If we don't draw a diamond, um, there's nothing we can do about it. So let's see. This is high, diamond, we have to have that, ace, we'll put it here, five is lower, um, it doesn't matter, we'll put it here, and a seven is good, okay, one more turn, we have to survive this, so we need a diamond in here, okay, let's go, two is low, Jack is high. Nine is lower than the Jack. I don't think there's any more cards higher than Jack, but let's let's just make sure we don't get any hearts in here. Um, there's hearts, see, and it, this has to be a diamond. It is. All right. Yep. So we survived the game. So um, none of these count for anything. The diamonds, we get one point for every diamond. All, all are face up, so that's 10 points right there. Um, in the vampire, we have three face down cards, but that doesn't count for anything. And here we get one point for every face up card. That's nine of them. So 19 points, and that was the hard mode. So we only have five cards that we can flip face down. Uh, fifth card will lose us the game, so uh medium is six cards and easy you get seven cards you get i mean you lose with seven cards you don't get seven cards you get six okay and uh yep so that's the game it's uh quite quick quite simple um it is a pretty new game and uh, it's free right now if you want to print your own cards but you don't really need it you can just memorize the order and play like that and, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say about it. I mean, the game uh, is pretty simple, maybe even a bit too simple looking at it. But, I mean, if you're playing on the hard mode, it can get challenging. There is a bit of tactical, you know, decision making for what it's worth. But it's pretty light, simple and quick. So um, definitely give it a shot. And uh, you get you get to play with your uh, cards. These are nice blue monarchs.
that I like. All right, so um, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.